Hi, this is Riel. This is a quick video to talk about Loom versus Vidyard's Go Video. These are the two screen recorders that I use. There's a lot of screen recorders out there. Uh, I find these two to be uh, very simple to use. I really like the way that they position the windows. Uh, they have slightly different features and I'll cover them quickly, although I do find them fairly interchangeable in terms of uh, usage. So some of the key things, I guess, in terms of how they value and price themselves. Um, they, they both have free levels, which I've been using for a long time. Uh, and it's uh, it's always been enough for me, although I am kind of on that point of uh, upgrading. You can see I have a lot of videos. I have 800 plus, almost 900 videos in Loom here. I don't know how many I've got in uh, Go. I haven't been using it as long, but I'm sure that there's a few hundred in there. They just their their library is organized uh, a little bit differently than Loom. So I guess the the key differences that I see from a pay point of view. Actually, I'm not even going to talk about the pay point of view. I'm just going to talk about the um, I'm just going to talk about the features of the free one, and uh, I'll let you kind of discover the pay one because honestly, I don't pay for either one of them. So um, I tend to be using Go Video, which is what I'm using right now to record this more these days. Uh, a couple of reasons I like it. I find sharing to YouTube, it integrates with your YouTube account and pushing your video to YouTube after you record it is super easy, which is what I do with almost all of my videos. So I don't use their viewer platform that much. I tend to send it to YouTube. Although when you do send the links from their platform, something that's different than loom is that they tell you uh, if the person that you sent the link opened the video and how far through the video they made it they're kind of their bent is more on the analytical side than uh loom so they give you uh the company in general they they you know they have tools for bigger companies to do personalized videos and a whole bunch of really interesting uh, video marketing tools that that go beyond. I think the Go screen recorder was kind of them looking down market for a way to uh, attract customers. But I think the primary offer is really at advertising agencies and larger brands and not smaller internet marketers like myself. Um, but uh, it's still a really interesting platform. And I really do like the fact that I can see. So the two big things that I like are the fact that I can see whether somebody watched my video so for clients i always send them the link to the video on there because i can see oh they saw 68 percent of the video and then they dropped out so I, I think that's a really killer feature that loom does not have and i really like that i can push videos straight to youtube from the recording with loom i have to download them and, and then upload them to youtube which it's not a big deal but it's just it's an extra step that uh um, makes it easier. And to be really honest with you, it's an easy way to hack around one of the limitations of Go videos. You can't download your videos unless you've paid. But of course, if you push them to YouTube, you can download them from YouTube. So it's an easy way to to get around their, uh, their well, it's not really security, I guess, but their feature limitations. Um, <clears throat> Loom lets you embed more of the videos on there. Um, I guess benefits to, to loom are they have a they have a an installable software program and they have more features that let you kind of uh, highlight things during video uh, if you want to you know make a, a highlighted area of the screen for example they also let you move your window around and they have a few different sizes for the window so I, I do like that this this doesn't let you change the position of where you're uh, where you're sitting on the screen. And the other nice thing that Loom has that customers appreciate, because I tend to ramble on a little bit, is that you can vary the playback speed of the uh, player. So if you're like me, I don't listen to videos on normal. I listen to 1.5 or 1.75, sometimes two, uh, because I like to listen to them really fast. I feel like if I get to watch it you know, at twice the speed, then I only have to watch it half the amount of time, and I get twice as much done as everybody else. Sorry, that was my little <laughs> quick speed speak. Anyway, so uh, so yeah, so those are the benefits of Loom. And Loom is $10 a month where uh, uh, the other one is $15 a month. If I was going to pay for one, 
it's hard to say, you know, I, honestly, I lean mostly towards Loom, but it really bugs me that they haven't allowed personalization on their landing page. Like I can't change this logo here to be my logo. Whereas uh, these guys, uh, their professional edition basically lets you change the landing page. Let me just see here. So this, for example, if I was to copy this link, Oops, what happened there? There we go. So if I had the Pro Edition, I could change this logo to not be Vidyard and to be my own logo, uh, which to me is like, that's fundamentally what the Pro version should do, right? Like, I get it, you're giving it to me for free, so this is a, an ad for your company, and I don't mind as long as I'm giving it away for free. Um, where Loom lost me was when they offered the Pro level, they didn't offer the ability to customize this. And and, uh, and then the other thing is, because I have so many videos in there, I'd like, if I go Pro, for them to remove the branding off the back end of my videos, I find it really annoying. I mean, again, I understand, but let me just show you their the size of their. Let's just see. Huh. Uh, I think it must. Let's see. It must show it only when it's played on the external screen. Let's just see that. So. I think because I'm logged in, it's showing, um, I suppose I could log out. Let's try that. Yeah, so the... Hmm. Okay. Well, they used to have a huge, really ugly loom ad at the end of it. It was really uh, annoying. It looks like they've moved to just having it here. I suspect if I embedded this video, I would have that ad again. But uh, it, at the time, I was annoyed because going pro wouldn't remove that ad from the back of my video. <laughs> maybe they've uh, maybe they heard people like me and changed it since then. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. That's my breakdown between the two. There's links in, in my uh, document to uh, my video report on uh, you know where to get these, both of these. And uh, again, let me know if uh, put in the comments below which one you liked better, if you, if you have a preference, if you've used them before uh, and why. I'd love to uh, know because I will be upgrading at some point soon and I still <laughs> kind of waffle between the two. Although I got to give Loom some props, they they issued a COVID discount, which I think is smart. <laughs> uh, so I may just take them up on it. Anyway, peace.